everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the 6th episode of my Terraria Calamity playthrough my friends. Thank you so much for the support you have been showing for the series so far. Very very much appreciated as per the norm. And in today's episode my friends we're going to be doing a couple of things. First of all, we're going to say hi to Joseph who keeps head bashing all over the- <laughs> This freaking dude man, what the hell? Jeez man. Oh, good lord above. But anyways, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the corruption, break ourselves a couple orbs maybe, and then also what we are also going to do is head down to the jungle, which as evident by this area down here is on the right hand side of the map. So what is likely going to happen, obviously the snow biome is here, uh, is uh, I, we're just, I hope we don't die basically. I really hope we don't die because if we die then uh, we're not going to be in such a good position, are we now? Anyway, yeah. So, in my piggy bank, I've got 26 gold so far. And that's a pretty decent amount. Nine more bits of gold, coins, that is. And I can get myself a mini shark. Now, the question is, do we go for a mini shark or do we try to go for something else? I don't know. There was a recipe involving the flintlock pistol uh, to, to do at some point. Right, here we go. So, we're going to head down here. We've got some semi-decent weapons now, so I don't see a reason... Why I shouldn't be able to get something. I... Yeah. I thought I saw a life crystal. Ha boom Get wrecked. I can't see a blooming thing. Alright, here we go. Ha! Right. Now then. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna have to chop these down. Right. One, two, three, four. Will that do? I don't know. Okay, one more and then we're pretty much good. Alright, so we'll get that one going. We, we can maybe get over to that one over there as well. Right? Let's see a reason why not. So, let's go down here. Wait. Is that a... Is that a snow biome? That looks like a marble biome to me. There is a marble biome intersecting this corruption. That is moderately hilarious. Huh. Okay. Right, what's this? Uh, musket, obviously, because uh, you always get a musket on your first go. Hey, we got ourselves... This is a material for something. Uh, plasma rifle requires Julius bars, the musket, and a toxic flask. Okay, so it is a post-plantera weapon. Fascinating. Okay. Always good to see. Oh, jeez. Don't blooming drown, Python, you moron. Jeez, man. That was kind of close. All right. Now then, we have a limited supply of, uh, of gel and all that kind of stuff. So let's try and be careful. Let's try and be, you know, precise with our bombing here. Really can't see a blooming thing here. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Oh, wait. Hang on. Ah. Yes. That is all draining out now. So I should be able to see what exactly is going on. Uh, there we go. Ah, another one. Uh, maybe another two? What do you guys think? Ha! Get wrecked. There you go. And another one after that should do the job, yes? Ha! Go on. Go on. Get naded. Get naded, fool. Get naded! There you go. Alright, let's go and break this bad boy up. Right, what are you going to give me? It is another musket! Okay. It's a deadly musket. That's not too bad. 35 range damage. That's pretty nice. Huh. Okay. Obviously, uh, you know, we're breaking the third one. Bull spawn in the Eater of Worlds. And I don't particularly want to be dealing with that right now. Uh, well, do I? I don't know. I think I could, you know. I honestly think I could. I've got 260 health. My defense should be okay, right? I don't know. I feel like I should be able to do it. Hmm. Okay, right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sell one of these muskets. Uh, let's sell this one because it sells for more and we don't really need the, the plus stats. So, yeah, and obviously it's a material that will be made into something else anyway. So that's the reasoning behind that. So, yes. Uh, right, so what was I saying? I want to try and maybe take down the Eater of Worlds. Do we think that's a good idea? Do we have iron skin potions? Uh, iron skin? Damn, no. We've got thorns though. That's kind of nice. Right, can we maybe make an iron skin potion? Uh, yeah, we've got a swiftness potion. That'll be kind of nice. Uh, cloud and bottle, already got that on. That's kind of cool. Let's get another one of those out just so we have it. Uh, do we have any day bloom? If we have day bloom, we should be able to make ourselves an iron skin potion. Aha! Yes, we do. Okay, right. Now we just need to look for a water body, right? Uh, there's one right below me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, convert that into a platform. Just so I could go through this thing. There we go. And I think I need to put the chair back down as well. Otherwise, the person will move out. What the? Someone else up. <laughs> the nurse and the merchant are having a major head bash session. Man, why didn't you invite, invite me to the freaking rave, dudes? I was the one who made you goddamn bait. You disrespectful turd. Why you do this? Why you do this? You're so rude to me, man. 
There we go. Alright, so. Uh, oh, gosh darn it. I forgot to... Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Right. Uh, sand. Thank you. Right. We are looking to place down a bottle. So, glass. Thank you. And the bottle. Thank you. I'll place one down there. And then one beside the piggy bank up here. There we go. Alright. Einskin. Aha! There you go. Fantastic. Yay. I can remember how to make some things sometimes. <laughs> All right, so that's going to bring us up to uh, 23 defense, which is very fine. Uh, do I have any food of any description? I don't think I do. No. Okay. Right, musket, you can go in this chest over here. So we've got 21 demonite buys so far. We've got unholy arrows. We could, yeah, the jester's arrows. Those are going to be the things that are going to be very nice to use. Uh, can we make any kind of, like, decent bow? We've got gold. Hmm. Oh, I want I want some sort of bow. Let's have a look. So gold bars can be made into a gold bow, and it's not a material. Okay, interesting. Uh, maybe I make myself the the demonite bow then, right? Demonite bow sounds like a good idea. Yes. Hmm, okay. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, gosh darn it! My inventory management abilities are really quite bad. All right. Let's have a look. So, oh, this was a material demon bow. Ah. Can I like have that back, please? Man, I wish when you close this thing, it would automatically put your stuff from here back into your inventory. Because that would just make sense, wouldn't it? Demon bow. There we go. Fantastic. 14 modes damage. Still a material. Let's go and have a look. So, this can be made into a Lunarian bow. Ooh. Demon bow, Molten Fury, Bee's Knees, Purified Gel. Huh? Where does one get that from? Bee's Knees, Molten Fury. Uh, Molten Fury is easy to get. Bee's Knees is pretty easy to get as well. We should be able to make this at some point. I think this could be a pretty worthy contender in terms of a good weapon. So, yes. Right. Now then. What we're going to do is we are going to buy a bunch of torches. And then what we're going to do... Can I like... There we go. Shop. And shop till I drop. Yeah, baby. All right, there you go. Have all that back. Thank you. All right, so we're going to get ourselves some uh, some campfires. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to do this. Uh, obviously, jester's hours and all that kind of stuff. Very, very fine. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what. Let me just go and... Uh, yeah, make some more. Fantastic. We used up all of our star supply, but I think we'll be good. I think this will be a, a worthy investment, as it were. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to head over to the corruption biome again. And then, we're going to head down. We're going to try and get ourselves... A, a horizontal flat area underground. You know how you normally get in the underground uh, corruptions. Uh, and yeah, as a result of all of that, we should be able to take down the, the Eater of Worlds and get ourselves some shadow armor, yes? Sounds like a good idea, huh? All right, so here we are. Uh, let's maybe go down another one of these chasms. Maybe this one? Sounds like a good idea, yes? Uh, although this one doesn't go anywhere. Gosh darn it, man. Hmm. All right, what's this? Can this? Does this go anywhere? Looks like it should do, but it isn't. Right, you can go in there. Go on, get bombed. Reveal to me the other horizontal part. That There's none. What the hell? This is a really weird corruption. Is it like split in two? I have no idea. Hey, look, there's area light at the surface. What is that doing there? <laughs> what? I didn't know they could spawn at the surface. That is weird. Okay, right, well, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. So let's go down here. We are looking for more corruption chasms. And I think we're about to come across some. Yep, there we go. We have come out of the snow biome now. We're in the regular corruption now, which is totally fine by me. Now, usually on the horizontal... Hang on a minute. Ah, you thought you could hide from me, didn't you? Yeah, give me that. Uh, very slow speed. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's make our way down. And yep, there we go. Horizontal area. Fantastic. All we got to do is uh, make sure we are good to go. So let's start off by killing that guy. I wouldn't mind having the rotten chunk. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, hmm. This is a reasonably flat area already, which is very nice. Hey! What? This is the underground of a giant tree! What the hell? That's so cool! I've never seen this before! <laughs> that is awesome! There's a giant tree that leads directly down into the underground corruption. That is amazing. We've got a living loom as well, which is very nice. Fantastic, man. And, uh, yeah. I don't think anybody should move in there because it's corruption, right? Yeah. They shouldn't move in. Shouldn't being the operative word. But, uh, in the meantime, I think what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and start setting this bad boy up. So, all we got to do, very simply, is just try to keep this place all nice and flat. Put down some campfires, all that kind of stuff. You know how it goes, guys. So, yeah. I'll be back with you guys 
once we've done it, I guess. Pitbull? How come I've never seen this guy before? Hey, buddy, is it because I've taken down the Eye of Cthulhu and it spawns in some new mobs now? I have no idea. I've never seen that mob before, but that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I went back to the base just to, just to get myself something. What was it that I got? I can't even remember. There was a reason why I went back to base. Oh, I was trying to get some wood. Yes. Yes. Got some wood because I ran out and therefore I couldn't make any more platforms. So, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on, folks. All right, guys. So, here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, bomb that all up. and think I might have put too many in. Oh, no. Hang on. Totally fine. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead and uh, put down a campfire right here. We'll put one over the right hand side as well. And uh, then we pretty much should be good to go with this thing. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to quick stack my money. There we go. And uh, any stuff that I don't really need, I'm going to put away. So pretty much everything aside from what I actually want. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, all of these uh, buffs here. We'll keep all of them. Keep the bombs. And yeah, everything should be good to go pretty much. Let's go ahead and just take down these little dudes so they don't get in my way. Ha! Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. There you go. All right, sweet. So, uh, let's pick that back up so I don't forget about it. And here we go, guys. We're about to give the Eater of Worlds a good go. The meteorites have started landing, which I guess is fine. I wonder if there's any new meteorite mobs, actually. Huh, interesting. All right, here we go. And here we go. It is a vile thorn, which is very fine, actually. Let's buff up. There we go. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? Wow, this guy... Is it really, like, massive? Oh, look at that. That is how you do damage. You see, this is why... Look, look at how amazing this thing is. Just as ours have to be like the most ridiculously overpowerful, like, pre-hard mode thing there is. It's so good. It really is. Alright. Let's be careful, though. He might drop hearts, but he is doing a fair amount of damage to me, it has to be said. This might actually kill me. Ah! Let's be careful. Come on. Oh. Careful, Python. Careful. He's spitting at me. Oh! This might kill me. I need to move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Whoa. And health. There we go. Oh, that was just in time. That was what I call, like, seriously playing on the edge right there. Jesus. Come on. I think we've got this now, guys. It was just that heal. If I could get that heal in, then I think I would have been okay. Right. There's still plenty of guys left, though. Look at the amount of health bars there are. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, come on, buddy. Ah, you see, that's a good thing about all of the... Oh, what the... Wow. That's the good thing about all of these guys just getting absolutely wrecked. As you can see... Oh, here we go. Two left, two left. Two, two sections. He's dead. And then we've got this guy, and then he'll be just about it. This was a close fight. This was legitimately a close fight. Wow. But there we go, guys. Very fine. Took him down with, oh, well, with some issue, admittedly. But, uh, eh, not too bad. Well, to be honest, maybe we could have made use of this thing. Huh. All right, what's this thing used in? The Knight's Ray. Oh, so we've got another material for our Knight's Ray, guys. We've got the Wonder Sparkin already. We've got the Vile Thorn. And, yeah, we've got the True Shadow Scales. Uh, amber Staff. How does one make an Amber Staff? I can't see. All right, okay. Uh, amber if I take this guy out and then put Amber Staff in, what do I need? Sturdy Fossils and 8 Amber. That's not that difficult, actually, in all honesty. So, all I have to do, really, is get myself a whole bunch of silt and slush and some Sturdy Fossils. And, yeah, we should be good to go. Sweet! So, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this thing. Uh, there we go. Boom. Why, why, why you no do this? There we go. Get off. All right, here we go. So, we've got ourselves a Worm Scarf. Very nice. Got ourselves a bunch of Demonite as well. And some uh, Shadow Scales. Very, very nice. Let's head ourselves back, my friends. Uh, oh, some stars for the Pythonator. Thank you so much. All right, Worm Scarf. Very fine. Let's put that on. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Reduces damage. By 17%. That is so cool. That is like one of my favorite all-time accessories in the game. Like, I'm not even kidding. Right. So, let's go ahead. So, I imagine these are involved in the making of the true shadow scales? No? Iron bars. Ebon stone. Corrupted crusher blade. Demon altar is needed. We could actually make this. Lead bar, shadow scales, ebon stone. Bl oh, blighted gel. No, we don't have that yet. Huh. Okay. Right. Well, whatever the case may be, what we're going to do is we're going to head over here. Uh, let's grab out the demonite bars. 
Where, where did my... Oh, they're in the piggy bank. Of course they are. Uh, yes. Some of that. And we are now going to make ourselves the blade. Not blade. The thing. You know what thing I'm on about, guys. You know what thing I'm on about. Right, let's go over here. We are looking for the pickaxe. There it is. Fantastic. Right, as far as I know, this thing can mine area light, which is pretty cool. So in the meantime, let's have a look at this. Uh, can I make all of this? Uh, 45, 60. 60 bars is what I need. Uh, shadow and the pants. And there we go, guys. We are now up to 34 defense. Up from 23, an increase of 11. Obviously, I think I've got... Yeah, there we go. So that will decrease to 26. Yes, 26. That's about, sounds about right, doesn't it? So yeah, going down to 26 defense, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm not too fussed about that. Goblin army is approaching from the west. Of course they are. Of course they are. You can't just leave me alone, can you? You have to interrupt me. Ah, oh, jeez. What a bunch of dudes. What a bunch of dudes. All right, let's sell these things. There we go. Thank you very much. And can we, like, quick stack anything? Yes, we can. There we go. Looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, quick stack our money as well. And yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, we can buy the mini shark. Let's do it. Boom. Fantastic. Right. So, material. Let's have a look. So, ah, huh, okay. Oh, the mega shark is still a material. Ah, huh. and so is the star cannon. Interesting. Okay. Right. So, and now we've got these guys to contend with. Jeez, man. Jeez. <laughs> what the hell, man? This is just ridiculous. What? Why? Why you even bother? Why bother? Oh, uh, right. I tell you what. Let's see how we do with this thing. Oh, God. I mean, it's good for, like, absolute, like, ridiculously short range, but if you have any kind of range, then you're pretty much dead. Oh, my God. Don't kill my dudes, man. That's so rude. Don't kill me either, because that's also very rude. Oh, my God. It's like windmilling these guys. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Alright, I tell you what, get, get freaking murked, buddy. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Very nice, very nice. And uh, now, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Right, I tell you what, guys, because I'm not really noticing anything new so far, you guys have probably seen me do the Goblin Army many times before. So we're going to go ahead and just get on with it, and then we'll be back once it's done. And if we manage to get something new, I guess. Ooh, guys, a new thing. A war blade. 25 melee damage. And it's fully auto! Ooh, we got a new good weapon here, folks. Wasn't expecting this, if I'm entirely honest. That's kind of awesome. A war blade. Very fine. Is it a material? It is not. Oh, God, be careful, Python. You almost died there, bro. Plasma rod! Oh, we got all sorts of new stuff now, folks. Looking good. Oh! And I got killed. <laughs> of course I did. Gosh darn it, and now it's going to take about three years to spawn in, and I'm going to lose all my gold, because this guy here has just picked it all up. Give me my stuff back, you little son of a gun. If you don't give me my stuff back, I'm going to be a mad little python. Go on. Go on. Here we go. Here we go. Ha. Back to it. Right. We got. We just got to, like, just run straight past these guys, basically. There we go. And you're going to drop all my stuff, buddy? Is that something you're going to do for me, bro? Some of these guys have got my gold coins, and I don't appreciate it. Can you, like, give up, please? Thank you. Right. And now let's kill all these guys. Oh my god, I don't have very many good weapons left, to be honest. It kind of sucks. Buddy, go away. Go away. Go on. All of you. All of you. All of you. Go on. Go on. Right, let's use this thing. My night's bit. Oh, this is more like it. I can push them back as well. Stop. God. Are you kidding, bro? These guys are holding my gold coins. You see, this is the problem. If you get like a little army of goblin archers like this, they will just absolutely machine bow you. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright guys, let's keep going. Well, the goblin army may be defeated, but we still got this little army going on here. Go oh, on, get wrecked, all of you. There oh jeez, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> get destroyed. Right, there we go guys. We've got a couple new weapons to check out. The uh, the blade being one of them, we've already seen it. But uh, here we go, the plasma rod. 10 magic damage, uh, casts a low damage plasma bolt. Shooting a tile will cause several bolts. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Uses 10 mana, though. Huh. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Well, uh, pretty basic. But uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Anyways, guys, I think on that note, it's going to be time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. <laughs> Second plasma rod. And be sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support very much so. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.